Yo, what is going on you guys? John Shea here from the No Shame Income Blog. If you are brand new to the channel, be sure to throw me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. As well, if you actually go back and leave me a comment on the video, I will go back and actually reply to your comment. So today we're going to actually be talking about how I took a sales page on ClickFunnels and transferred this sales page over to a WordPress plugin called Thrive Architect. Thrive Architect is actually one of my favorite plugins. I'm going to leave a link below to a comparison video where I went really in depth on these two particular pieces of software. But today what I'm going to be showing you is how I took my software tool, uh, and the sales page that I had for that software tool and actually moved it over to a template within Thrive Architect. The reason that I decided to do this was because I actually wanted to save some money and move away from the ClickFunnels platform and not necessarily be married to it, so to speak. If I ever decided that you know I wanted to move away from it, I didn't want to have to have content on the ClickFunnels platform that was exclusive um, to that specific system and have to 100% rely on ClickFunnels. And in this case, I'm moving over to WordPress and a theme, um, which is basically a plugin that you can use for setting up your sales pages, landing pages, and any of that stuff. So let's jump over to my desktop and I'm actually gonna walk you through everything. All right guys, so we're over on my desktop and what I wanted to do in this video is kind of show you how I'm transitioning from a ClickFunnels uh, funnel slash sales page and moving it over to Thrive Architect, which will actually be hosted on a WordPress site. So I wanted to give a little bit of uh, background on this particular sales page and what this product is for. This is actually a software product that I built uh, with a partner of mine. Um, I had been using ClickFunnels quite a bit and we just decided at the time, why not put it in ClickFunnels? Uh, eventually, I, he actually transitioned everything over to my ClickFunnels account, uh, transferred the domain to my GoDaddy, and we're still partners on it, but I have ownership of the domain and uh, all the sales page content. So one of the easy things was obviously doing that transition. There was a little bit of complexity with this because in order to actually get this to work 100% properly with ClickFunnels and using a sole specific domain and not some sort of subdomain site with ClickFunnels, you actually need to set up um, a Cloudflare account, which is normally a security site, but you can do some DNS redirecting and all this other stuff. But um, that's kind of for another day. I'm gonna really talk about in this video how I'm taking the ClickFunnels version of the sales page and moving it over to Thrive Architect. Um, now, I wanna show you first off what I ended up doing for the original sales page, um, and then I'm gonna show you what I've started building for the transition page. I have it about 95% complete. So uh, this is the original page that I built in ClickFunnels. Um, I didn't really have a logo for this particular software, so it just has like the title of it. It's called Evolutely. And as you go through, there's screenshots. Um, you can see there's photos of testimonials, photos of the actual software, um, different things breaking this down, more testimonials, a live demo video, and then I go through and kind of do check marks of all the different features and things like that. Now, this page, you know, it's not bad. Um, it's done its job for what it is. There's little quirks and things about it that, um, you know, I wasn't 100% on like how this pricing table, I think could have looked a little nicer. Um, overall, it's not like the most fanciest thing in terms of design, and uh, it's really mostly just a lot of text, right? So I wanted something that looked a little nicer, maybe made the images pop, uh, maybe just really stood out in terms of when someone visits the site, they feel like, wow, this is something like state of the art that I would find in 2018. So I'm gonna show you the actual funnel that uh, I built in ClickFunnels. And what I ended up doing for this is a very simple little funnel. And really in reality, it's not so much a funnel itself. It's more of a, um, a landing page setup where you've got several sub pages. It's not like a traditional put in an email and then go back and get more you know, information out of it once people opt in. Uh, pretty much you have the sales page and then you've got these miscellaneous pages. Really all I did was I set up a page for a blog post or a blog. And uh, one of the things I'm not huge on with ClickFunnels is their blog setup. It's pretty um, limiting in terms of what you can do with it. So you can see here, this is the blog setup. Now again, it doesn't look bad, um, but to add actual like new blog articles and content, I actually have to go in and do a full edit to this page. I have to come in and uh, load this editor and I actually have to um, copy these these little blurbs here and edit all this information. It's not gonna be very seamless. And uh, it just, 
it, it's not really the greatest setup. So that's one of the things I'm not a huge fan of and one of the reasons I'm moving this to WordPress. Now, if we go back, let me jump back here. Um, I did do some other sub pages. So like this was kind of the only blog post I ended up doing. And you can see I was able to create a page utilizing the same layout and theme. So if someone went to the blog, clicked on the blog post, it would still look and feel all the same. So I'm most likely going to copy this content and move it over into um, WordPress. Now, um, the only other page that I really had was a demo scheduling page, very basic. This was where people could set up a demo and learn a little bit about the software. Um, this one's not bad, you know, it has some cool effects like the testimonials coming in from the side and bullet points and, you know, fairly standard. I just wanted something basic for this, but overall it's not the most beautiful thing in the world. So that was really uh, my biggest reason for moving away. The other thing was really just having full control as if for any reason I ever decided to move away from ClickFunnels, I didn't want to be married to the platform and needing to be constantly paying monthly fees. Whereas with Thrive Architect, I could simply just go and actually get this done and uh, not need to um, you know, worry about you know, paying something and having the service go down or anything like that. So let me, guys, let me show you guys, you, you, we've already now walked through the ClickFunnels version. I did want to quickly show the actual sales page template I originally used. So let me just jump back. This is the template here. Uh, I believe they call it Blue Beam and it was under their sales page template. So this was kind of what I started with on ClickFunnels. You had the logo up here, the headline, the button, an image, and then they kind of do the back and forth. And you know, it's an okay template. It's like, you know, I wasn't blown away by it, but it got the job done. Now, let me show you um, some of the Thrive Architect templates. So I've actually created a test page on one of my other WordPress sites, my main blog, and I'm going to launch Thrive Architect. And once you have this launched inside WordPress, you basically get this whole visual editor and it's easy to go and now, you know, spend some time making edits and you have all these blocks on the left-hand side. But the great thing about this is if you go to the bottom, you go to page setup, you can actually choose a landing page template and they give you a ton of templates to go on. Now, um, again, ClickFunnels does give you a lot of templates, but in my opinion, I really like the look and feel of a lot of the Thrive Architect themes a lot more. They just look a lot better visually and uh, I think that it just, it just looks like something you'd see in 2018. I've seen people design really beautiful ClickFunnels template pages, but um, sometimes it's pretty tough to, you know, come up with something in my opinion that's gonna look good out of the gate unless you're really good at design. These, you don't really need to be good at design, they're just out of the box really nice. So I ended up going through some of these, they actually have, um, they kind of call them different things like Fit Brand or Pro Layers or Flat 2.0. And if you expand one of these, they'll give you all different templates kind of following the same theme. And you can build different pages based on different things you're trying to do, like a coming soon page or a webinar or a lead generation page, a confirmation page, a download page. I mean, you've got it all. So I ended up going with, um, out of all the templates, I mean, I could have picked a different one. I went with this pro layers sales page. So I'm going to choose this template. And I'm going to show you what the default template looks like. And then what I'm gonna do is actually come back and I will show you the difference of how I took the Evolutely ClickFunnels version and rebuilt it into this same template. So now I have this drag and drop editor and you can see every little piece I can actually edit or change. I ended up getting rid of these images and I kind of widen this whole section at the top. Um, I like this blue, how it kind of comes down and does uh, almost like an arrow coming down. And as you go down, it's just got really bright colors, nice. Um, nice transparency in the way that it does the icons and all the features and the fonts. Everything just looks beautiful. Um, so I kind of stuck with this same layout and I removed things that I didn't need and ultimately kept a lot of the basics. So you can see here like they do the content boxes on the sides, product features, testimonials, you've got an about the author area, and then this was sort of a call to action area where I ended up putting a pricing section. And then you've got your FAQ which is really cool. Um, because these all drop down and have little questions. So let me show you how I transitioned all of this. So I'm actually in the midst of editing and I'll show you, I'm gonna go all the way to the top. It looks like we've got an error here. I'm gonna have to clean up. But basically what ends up happening here is I was able to kind of transition everything over. So I use the same headline, same sub headline, the image, a testimonial. I put in the um, testimonial image. I may move this text 
like for the you know for the uh, actual guy here right below his photo I think it might look a little better and then a little about um, here's another testimonial a little bit of the features and uh, this section got messed up I'm gonna have to go back and actually fix that I think I was playing with some stuff so I'm just gonna scroll past through this because I made some errors there and uh, here's another testimonial I took from the sales page so it just looks so much nicer and um, I also added a little bit of uh, shadowing to all the images in the video here so it kind of gives it a little bit of an effect and it just doesn't look you know as bland and boring sitting there you can see it really nice here on this photo a um, little bit of check boxes um, the greens transitioning into the blues and the colors of the actual software photos and uh, as they go down I you know did some different things like uh, this is very similar to how I laid out the other page or if we go back if I can find it here it is here so at the very bottom I actually have this section here which is kind of listing off bullets and at the very bottom again this is like highlighting one of our training programs that we include so I've been going ahead and actually copying um, all this content and moving that over by simply just making edits to this and everything is very easy you, you basically jump in um, make the changes a lot of stuff if I'm copying it over I'll throw it in a word document or I'm sorry a notepad document and once you do that you can easily you know highlight the text that you need and just copy it over and that way you won't have any formatting issues and it will come over by default inside of here so everything I can easily duplicate and kind of move down this has like a little green um, you know kind of divot here whatever you want to call it and uh, makes it very very like slick in terms of how it all comes out and I was even able to add like a little about the creators there's a photo of me and Paul my partner on this particular software and I think the pricing table just came out looking much smoother the way it like really highlights the annual plan and uh, still makes it look kind of even and flow pretty well and then the 100% money back guarantee I got to fix a little bit of the formatting here so the 100% isn't hidden there um, and then the FAQ at the bottom so the only thing I have left to add is obviously editing some of the fixes here but I think overall this sales page has come out much much better um, I do have to work on figuring out what happened here I think I adjusted a setting and it messed everything up but um, yeah I'm really loving the way this has turned out and uh, again I think if you guys are considering building a sales page you're looking for something that has a really solid template I think Thrive Architect is going to be a really good choice I'm going to leave a link below to both ClickFunnels and Thrive Architect and you can ultimately make your decision. There is also another video that I posted where I compared these two solutions. When I originally did create that though, I will note it was actually called Thrive Content Builder and they have now changed their name and updated the entire plugin here and it is now called Thrive Architect. So again, I hope this was helpful for those of you maybe considering switching away from ClickFunnels and uh, possibly switching to something else. Thrive Architect is currently my uh, go-to choice due to the fact of functionality, features, and the capability that you could buy this and more or less own it without needing to pay a monthly fee.